All right. Well, I want to welcome everyone to today's uh, coaching session. Uh, we jump on here every Monday through Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Our main focus is really, truly to grow to your potential, develop as a, not just as a independent trader, but also to develop as an individual, get 1% better every day. Make sure that you focus on your, your skill set, your ability to talk to people, your ability to adjust, to navigate changes, um, to support one another. Uh, today is Stay Woke Wednesday. <laughs> I used to always despise when people would say that. I don't really like cliche type um, sayings, but you know, you definitely have to make sure that you are always focused on um, keeping your eyes open, your ears open. I do want you guys to understand that um, sometimes you do really have to just check your heart. Go into the chat really quickly, right? And I want you to give me one word. Go into the chat and tell me, because you know that many of us have been going through some things. I don't want to spend a lot of time on it. There are some things that have been shaken up. What you guys can rest assured is that if you listen to my call a couple of days ago, I always am about the collective. I'm always about the people. So I always uh, am one step ahead of the game, I feel like, because I really truly believe in building relationships when I get into businesses, I want to make sure that it benefits the collective. So go into the chat for me really quickly and um, just tell me, give me one word and be completely honest. No bad words. We have pastors and deacons and everything on here. But yesterday, like check your heart for just a second. And um, I do want you guys to understand that everything that's going on, I have the pleasure and the it was tough, but I knew about everything first. And I'm not saying that like bragging and boasting, pat, patting myself on the back. It just means that people feel like they can confide in me because they know that I'm going to always err on the side of what's good for the collective. And I'm going to always be empathetic to how people feel and the information that they bring to me. But I'm also going to tell people the, the truth of what I believe the truth to be because I'm going to pray about it and not to be getting into like being overly religious or anything. I don't make any excuses for the fact that I'm a spiritually minded person. I don't move unless I've been ca called to move. You know, I've been in this game for a long time. I am only in network marketing because years ago, this was what was spoken to my life. And this was the vehicle that would create a new Wall Street. I have never diverged from that. Creating a new Wall Street means building a community of like-minded individuals who are not just focused on money, but they're also focused on what they're going to do with the money. And I have to stay true to that mission. Otherwise, you know, I've been in situations where I could go into many different companies all the time being connected to one of the top income earners, I had to make decisions to say, well, okay, we just got in this company. So no, I'm just going to stay here. That's fine. If you want to go in my own household. And so I know how to deal with these situations. People are going to come and go, go into the chat though. Yesterday, how did your heart feel though? Yesterday, only focus on yesterday with all of what you were hearing and seeing. Be honest. How did your, your heart feel though, when you were, un, some people were unbothered, hope, you know, some people were a little disappointed. It kind of uh, hurt their heart a little bit, all of the things that were going on, right? Disappointed, heavy. So be honest, you know, all day long, I'm talking to people and you may be unbothered, but confused, disappointed, sad. Now ask yourself though, Sometimes you have to trust your heart and you also have to guard your heart. The reason why God, I believe, puts ribs around your heart. I used to say this to my high school students. He puts ribs around your heart like a cage and you do have to guard your heart, not harden it, but you have to be careful what you let in through your eyes and ears because it can affect your heart. And a lot of people were confused and they felt like they had to pick sides. I've never picked sides. I've never... I just always check my heart, right? 
But the problem is, I used to tell my young people this, your heart gets broken when you start giving out ribs to people. You start giving a rib. And I was speaking to my young people on a relationship, you know, because young people deal with heartbreak and my boyfriend and my girlfriend. So every single day, I'm built for what we just went through yesterday. Walk into a high school with 4,000 hormonal high school kids and see if you don't have to you almost feel like you have a, a mental illness sometimes. Like people, my students just say, these teachers are bipolar. And I'm like, well, we kind of have to be because <laughs> we never know who we're talking to on any given day. Like today you're this way, tomorrow you're this way. You love me today, tomorrow you hate my guts. I'm built for this, right? I'm built for people saying negative things. It's not about what people people call you it's about what you answer to <laughs> my heart is protected so i told my young people you need to stop giving ribs out to johnny and chris and this and that person because you expose your heart to people so now back up for just a second now tell me how you guys felt maybe a week ago because you know when things are starting to get normal and the system and how were you actually feeling when you came into this opportunity the first time? What did your heart feel like? Right? We know how you felt yesterday. We know like emotions are up and down, you know? What did you feel like when you first joined this company? Anxious, excited, confident, optimistic, you know, so hopeful. So I want you guys to really, really think about it. You cannot be moved by emotions. You have to control your emotions like a boss. I love that. You have to control your emotions. It's always easy to just want to pick up when things get hard and start something new or throw a tantrum when you don't get your way. You can do those things, but when the dust settles and the smoke clears, you know, it, what comes out of your mouth says a lot about your heart. <laughs> and Sometimes I have to check my mouth and my tongue and not react to everything. My partner, Bridget Buckner, you know, sent me a message and we were talking at like four o'clock in the morning, like we were some teenagers or something. Um, and she said, you know, peace be still. Sometimes you just have to be still. People will show you themselves and when they do, believe them and check your heart. If it doesn't feel right in your heart, sometimes it's not right. Watch, listen, and learn. I just watch people, right? I just watch people. I listen to what they say really, really closely. And I learn. I, I learn who they are and who you can trust with your people. So there is nothing negative that I say about people. You know, and I'm not saying I'm perfect. Sometimes I do slip up and, you know, people might get the business a little bit. And I got to pray about it. However, I'm not perfect. None of us are, and we can be pushed to our limits. You know, it's part of the reason why when you run into people that um, push you to a point where you feel like that's not where you should be, you know what you do with those people? Go into the chat and type this word, delete. <laughs> that's what I've learned how to do. Do you guys know that like social media, like think about Facebook. If there's 7 billion people in Facebook, you only have to be in people's lives if you choose to be. If you have people who are negative, then push the delete button. You, sometimes people are just nosy. They want to know what's going on. And all you're doing is disrupting your heart by reading that stuff, right? That's all you're doing. You, you feel like you have to be in the know. And then you, your heart's all jacked up and you're not feeling well. And it's because sometimes you have to delete, block. You know, you guys see me do it all the time. If somebody starts talking crazy, out, you know, and one minute they're with you and the next minute you're the worst person in the world, you, you have a choice at that point whether or not you want to continually listen to that or delete them. You, you won't know. I'm sure there are a lot of people who talk about me. I'm not going to know unless somebody brings it to me. It's not going to affect my life unless I allow it to. We have more control than we think we do. So you got to watch. You got to listen. You got to learn. Anytime that I've left a company, you can ask anybody. 
Anytime that I've left a company, I've never said anything negative. I will tell people, listen, this is just something that I feel like is gonna be best for the collective, you know? And I've had to leave companies not because I wanted to, but because maybe the ownership wasn't there, maybe because nobody was making any money, maybe because I knew something that they didn't know, you know? But I told you guys from the jump that I get into the inner circle of things for a reason, not because I wanna be popular, but because it's my business and I always want to know what's going on in my business always. And I always know everything because people talk a lot and they share. And then I have a decision to make. So watch, listen, and learn in business. People are going to come and go. You got to make the decision what you're going to do and you have to inspect what you expect. And I always inspect what I expect from people like, and I got to like really stop and listen. And I let people talk because they will tell you exactly who they are and what their focus is. And then you make a decision. It's that simple. I've always been like this, you know, sometimes you have to go to this person, that person. What do you think? What all you got to do is do what Bridget said and be still for just a moment and watch people and listen to them. They'll tell you everything you need to know, (laughs) everything. Um, I do want you guys to know like that tomorrow we're going to be talking heavily about the ownership and what their vision is. I'm going to be talking to Cody and Easton today and see if I can get them on the call uh, tomorrow morning. They stay up really super late, so they don't get up really, really early. But I know that they made phone calls to all the Dukes and above uh, and talked to a lot of the leaders And I know that they got on a call for my brother, which was great. And Scott uh, and Danielle Rowe, we got some major leaders over here who have put 20,000 people in their last business. You know, these are people connected to my family who just came aboard, who trust and respect uh, my brothers, you know, and I wouldn't disrespect my family by making decisions without them. So um, they, ownership did get on the phone with about 40, 50 people out of Virginia yesterday. And it was amazing. They talked about what the vision is for the company. Also on next week, um, Dukes and above, there are going to be many trips like that. So just stay prepared. And we really are going to sit down and kind of chop it up with the leaders and look at the vision and what are some gaps? What could make this company better? Who are the, we're going to talk tomorrow and I'm going to introduce you guys to some of the Tradera leaders because I know what people can say. All the, all the leaders have gone. Oh, contraire. <laughs> I got a lot of leaders on my team and we lead by example, not by title, right? So leaders, leaders are not title leaders, right? Leaders are result leaders. So we're going to talk about who the leaders are. I want to introduce you to them tomorrow. And then also trading the product. People can be really nervous when people might decide to go elsewhere. Other companies are popping up. They're going to pop up, right? But one step ahead, who are the Tradera traders over here? Will there be live trading sessions? I know that's some questions that you guys have. These are some questions that I really want the owners to be able to talk to you about because people, honestly, they just want to plug in and follow some traders and make some money. But all money isn't good money, right? We, got, we have to make sure that in this industry, I don't want to plug my people in uh, to anything if I feel like greed might be an issue because I deal with young people. They already, minds are all jacked up. I cannot logically put my young people in a group where money is the focus, right? Yes, we want to make money. Yes, we want to make sure that we have the things that we need. But we also have to keep our egos in check and make sure we're not edging God out when we get money because that's a problem. And a fool will be parted with this money. It will be like God took a a big ginormous pair of scissors and cut a hole in your bag and your money's going to fall to the bottom no matter how much money you make. So I inspect what I expect from people. And I ask a lot of the right questions because I, you know, had an opportunity to go and be at the top of somewhere else. But at the top of, you got, of what? (laughs) 
but I asked all the right questions and then I prayed about it. And then I sought uh, my spiritual counselor, counselors, and um, I'm trying to be in something for the long haul. I'm not trying to, it's not trying to be a money grab for me. I don't feel like bouncing around. I'm 42, don't have time to be bouncing around all over God's creation when he already gives you something and it's all about what you do with it and how you cultivate it and how you water the grass and the people. So just understand that if people decide that they want to go elsewhere in your group, wish them well. That's what I do. And go find people who understand what our mission is and find those people who are excited, who are ready to really truly put in the work. Because my leaders, we put in the work. We built it from the ground up, right? And we, we encourage our people and it hasn't been easy over here, but we do the best that we can. Don't forget, we are relaunching Tradera with a not a new mission because our mission has never changed, creating a new Wall Street. We just want to produce thousands of leaders. I know the holding tank is getting ready to come out. Now I have 120,000 individuals that I need to contact when the holding tank comes out. So the holding tank should be here next week. So I'm excited about that. 5,000 people in the grand scheme of things is not a lot of people, right? I know it sounds like a lot, but it's not, but we're going to focus on 250 people because 250 people in your downline is life changing. It's $5,000 a month. We got to start focusing on just helping our team hit Duke or Duchess. It's the magic rank. It's what my sponsor told me when I came over. She said, if you hit Duke and Duchess, it's going to be a challenge to get there. But once you hit Duke and Duchess, your organization is going to fly to the top really, really quickly. You're going to knock out the next couple ranks because that's where the momentum hits. So my main focus is, is to do whatever it takes to get as many of my team to Duke and Duchess as I possibly can. And I am about trading. That's why we will be bringing on some new live trading sessions. And I, we will be talking to the ownership about that so people can make money, but you get to 5,000 a month. You know what you could do with a $5,000 trading account? Nobody wants to sit on the charts all day. <laughs> we want to live life, right? I don't want to be on the charts for four and five hours out of the day. I don't want to do that. I would much rather get in to my trades and maybe not get in and get out. Maybe I want to get into the trade and kind of leave it and let that thing run because I got a big enough trading account that even when it pulls back, doesn't matter. I might stay in my trade for two weeks. I've been around traders who have stayed in their trades for months at a time. They're not scalpers. They don't pip and dip. Trade alerts are great, but you got to learn how to like have enough money in your account where you can just ride that one trade out and make $15,000 on that one trade. Those, that's what you want to get to as a trader. You don't want to have to live on the charts. You want to live life. So my goal is to get people to 5,000 a month because when you're rocking with a trading account like that, you don't have to be so uh, stuck and glued to your charts every day. Remember, uh, this is what's going to happen Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then all next week, I'm blitzing like I did before. So I'm getting my vocal cords together. But Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is going to be a taste of what our blitz is going to look like. We are relaunching. We are in pre-launch. VIP webinars at 2, 4, and 6. These are going to be massive three-way calls. All you're going to do is you're going to put all your people. There's no PowerPoint. It's a 10-minute call where I'm basically telling people really quickly what we're doing and I'm getting them to watch the video. I'll talk about that in a second. And then at nine o'clock on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it'll be a full webinar. When you guys are bringing people to the two, four, six, and nine, the mission is put your top five to 10 leaders, like new people on those calls, two, four, six. Make sure you have the two sizzle videos ready. It's a Forex video that's like a minute and a half long and it's a, um, sizzle video. And I promise you, I'm, I'm going to try to make another one today. That's really, really super short, not nine minutes. I'm going to try and make another one and see if I can get it shortened so that you know that people, when you give them the videos, they're going to watch those videos. And within five, six minutes, you can call them back and you're going to call those people back. And you're going to say, Hey, listen, you watch the video, right? No. Okay. Watch it. I got other people to call, call your other people and make sure all your people are watching the video at the same time and then double back 
and start calling each and every one of them and say, did you watch the video? Okay, great. Give me just a second and get a leader on the phone and introduce that leader like uh, the president of the United States that you really, really love and mute your phone and let them answer your person's questions and get your person started and excited. Don't give them too much information. You just want to know what they liked. Are you focused on the product, the residual side, or both? Okay, I really want to invite you to the 9 p.m. Eastern call tonight. But listen, if you know anybody who really truly wants to learn how to trade and make some money uh, on the referral side, can you invite a few people to the four o'clock call? Okay, let's get you signed up first though. Okay, let's get them signed up and then let's get them moving. And then we're going to get those people to put people on the four and the six, then we do a full webinar. Okay. Expose as many people as you possibly can to the opportunity. That's what you want to do. And then next week, my blitz is probably going to be what I did last time when I officially launched my business and I'm doing a call at 12 o'clock, two o'clock, four o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock for seven straight days, no days off, until we just rebuild it. We don't chase them, we replace them. <laughs> you know, not, no one person is above this company. And, and you know, if we gotta go find some thirsty horses, we ain't making any horse drink. We're looking for the thirsty ones. So please understand that you should be writing this down. I see somebody laying down over there and you didn't, you don't have a pen or paper, Casey. What? Pen and paper. <laughs> I'm beating up on Casey over there, laying down with no pen and paper. You guys got to write some things down. Note takers are the money makers. This isn't just <laughs> a game over here, right? We're about to take a lot of people to Duke and Duchess, 5,000 a month in the next, you know, uh, and it's going to start this Friday. It's what you do. Start your business over this Friday. So Miss Linda, I, don't, I didn't mean to take up all of your time, but I felt like I kind of had to throw these things out here. Um, and I'm definitely going to try to get Cody and Easton or one of them on my call tomorrow at 11. So I'll let you guys know as we start to really talk about the ownership, leadership, and what the gaps we're going to fill in. Because when people leave, there's a gap. So we just fill it in. <laughs> That's it. We just fill it in. There's a gazillion traders out here who make, I got traders who I've watched make $275,000 in two seconds, right? No one trader is going to get you to the next level. We got, we got other ones. So Miss Linda Rogers Brown, I am going to pass it over to you, young lady. All right. All right. All right. Well, Megan, thank you so much. And, you know, um, we really appreciate your leadership and we're excited about um, everything that's going to happen moving forward um, today. I just really want to go over um, just refreshing and regrouping. Um, just going over a few things that we went through before. Um, some of you might have seen it. Some of you might not have seen it. But I just want to talk about, you know, where we are. Remember where we come in, where we came from, how far we've come. I've been with Tradera right about almost five, six months now. I can, I've lost track of how long I've been here. But I'm still excited as the day I got in as far as the opportunity is concerned. I'm even more excited with the team that we have cultivated I'm even more excited about the leadership that we have partnered with uh, Reagan and Megan um, as our leaders and the vision of the company and being a part of something that I can see um, being a major impact on not only my life, but all the lives I've, of the people I know, care, love, and, and want to be a part of their success as well. So just remembering that, you know, Tradera, with it, we get to live our life on our terms. We, we really do. I mean, sometimes we look at, you know, maybe, you know, I should get that job or maybe I should do this. And I was at that point one time in my life where I had a choice. And I always said, you know, if it doesn't work, then I could get a job, but let me at least try. But then if I try, I got to put everything in it so that I can live on my terms. You know, I'm here at my daughter's house today. I've been here for the last couple of days helping a kindergartner in the second grade in elementary school because they have to now, they are now forced to homeschool. And she had to go into the office today and her husband is here with me today and I'm helping the two of them out because the five-year-old on her first year of kindergarten is just a little challenging. But you know, if I had a job, you know, I couldn't do that. If I was 
the grandma that was just working to try to make it happen so I can have a good retirement or whatever, or, or I still had to work, you know, um, I wouldn't be able to do that. So I, I get to live my life on my terms. I, I get to go do things, be available. Available is huge, being able to be available in not only your life, but I mean, just in other people's lives. If I need to get up and go somewhere, I can go because I can work no matter where I go. That's huge. And some people take that for granted. Some people don't appreciate the ability to live your life on your own terms. And then some people don't even take advantage of the opportunity to do so. You know, taking the opportunity to really do so and have financial freedom. I mean, what is financial freedom? Financial freedom is just being able to go to the store without looking at the budget or checking your balance and things like that. I mean, that is life that so many people would appreciate if they had the opportunity. So many people that don't even know that they could do that because no one poured into them, no one coached them, no one mentored them and to the point, just the fact that you have the ability to be able to do that and get them past the fear that they don't or get them past what they've always to been told in their life to, they'll never be anything or, or even putting them with a, a team of people that care and love them so they have this family that they never had before. I mean, why are you doing this? What is in it for you? Why are you still here? Why are you still going through all the things that people say and do and put us down for trying to be entrepreneurs? They're not putting us down. They're just jealous because they have not stepped past their own self to even try it to see if it can work for them. So remember the three golden rules we talked about before, really paying attention. You know, when somebody comes up to you, that, I mean, like Reagan, I mean, Megan said, I'm sorry, I get them so confused. You know why? Because I got triplet grandchildren. I still get them confused. But Megan and Reagan, the names are so close together, but you know, they're both as powerful. And so that's why it's easy to mix them up. But just like Megan just said, you know, there's so many opportunities out there, so many. And I pray that we are all mature entrepreneurs here. What I mean by that is that you've come to a place in your quest to be a successful entrepreneur, in your journey to be a successful entrepreneur, that if anybody comes to you with anything, you really do your research. You really ask questions. Don't look at the dollar sign because the dollar sign only comes followed by certain criteria, character, integrity, humility, intentionality. Are their intentions really for you? So pay attention, pay attention to what you have, really, really embrace what you have, pay attention what your future could be, and definitely pay attention and do your due diligence when somebody says, oh, you know, I'm going over here, but is going over there for them, for you, for both? And then do you have to do anything that's out of character? Like, take something to go get something else. You know, when people do that, they, they really don't, some people don't even realize, they're so blind to their own gain that they don't even realize how they're affecting other teams, other people, you know, people that looked up to them. You know, really pay attention to what everything is involved before you make any decision in life. And then once you see where you are, get excited again. I mean, you know what? I heard all the stuff that's going over the last couple of days. And I barely slept last night. You know, I was wondering, you know, what am I going to say today? How am I going to say it? I already had a call with my leaders on my team. And I wanted them, I just wanted them to know, I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. Megan's here. Reagan's here. Their whole family is coming on board. I mean, that's where we should be right now. We should be getting everybody that we consider family, friends, close people say, look, we got a company. We got a company that we are going to be responsible for making it a great company, making it a Fortune 500 company that's listed in the top companies in the industry. We got that. Get excited about your position where you are. I don't care if you are a IBO, a founder, noble, bishop, you know, and I hope everybody's going for the challenge to get the Duke and Duchess because ain't nothing like getting $1,250 in your account every Sunday night, uh, Sunday morning 
I mean, Monday morning, about three or four o'clock in the morning, you hear that ding on your phone that you just had $1,250 just deposited in your account. I can't even imagine 25000 I mean, I'd be, I mean, if I got a ding, the $25,000 just went into my account. Boy, I tell you what, I would be a philanthropist. I would be helping people. I would help single moms. I have a thing for single moms because I was one for 25 years. I get, wow, women are worth going, women are wealth or something. I would create something. Get excited so that you can build the wealth to create something in the lives of other people. Put yourself on the back burner for just a second and build this thing for the people that, I mean, leave this earth a hero or a shero. And don't you dare quit. This ain't the time to quit anything. Especially if you've been in here for a minute. Oh my God, you don't want to quit. You've already paid the price. There's a price to become successful. And to get to success, you've got to pay a price. You pay it now, you pay it later. Pay it now. Get it out the way. So now we can run and, and build and be excited. But don't you dare quit. Not on your life. And remember, you made a decision. Everybody that wants to be successful, it's a decision. Success is our only challenge, not people, not opportunities. It's our own challenge. But success starts with the decision to succeed. Because once you make that final decision, I remember when I wanted to lose weight, I couldn't lose a pound until I decided to do it. I remember when I, I, I years ago, early, I mean, early in the 70s, 80s, late 70s, 80s, I used to smoke. I couldn't quit smoking until I made a decision and I quit that day. Success is, is the same thing. Once you make a decision, then all of a sudden something pulls you right into action to make it happen. But most people don't even make a decision to do so. A lot of people make a decision, I'm, I'm going to try it. You know, some people used to sign up with me in an opportunity. Well, I'm going to give it 30 days. Well, don't do that. You know, save your coins. If you, if you got in this just to give it a couple of days, don't do that. Stretch. Three to five years is what it takes to be successful in a company. Three to five years. You know, the government even allows you to lose, take a loss three to five years. Well, you can write it off on your taxes. They expect most people not to succeed in the first three to five years of your business. So make a choice to, to do the business, not try it. You're in it. How long are you going to be here until you succeed? At what? Whatever you're trying to get. But that's the average. And that's why people jump to jump to jump from thing to thing because they never make a decision that this is it. We're going to take it serious. I want to learn how to make it happen. I want to succeed. I want to be at the top of the company. I want to build this thing. I want to be the top of my, my family, the one that breaks the generational curse. I want to be the, the person that people look up to and can trust that if I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it the best I can. So make the decision to succeed again. If you made it before and you got you know a little pulled away from it, Make it again. That's what today is about, making it again. And then like she said, it's amazing how we're on the same page. Your heart must be connected. Your heart, if your heart isn't connected, it's not going to happen. Because your heart is the power, the power to succeed. And your heart for other people's success is what's going to make you propel in your success. I don't know what your original dream was, but pull it out again. Blow off the dust and let's get it going again. Build that dream in your heart for you and your family. A $100,000 check is waiting for you. We always said that. $100,000 a, a month or a week. <laughs> a week. I got to get used to that. Is it a week? Yeah, it's a week. I, I got to get used to that. I've been in opportunities, but none of them promised that. Promised it. Now, you can make it, but your Daryl promises it. If you do this, you get that. If you do this, you get that. Other companies, you can make it, but, you know, the volume has to be right. So many people have to do this or whatever. But here, all we're doing is gathering students. If we gather enough students, we get that. The more students, we get that. So what do you need? 
But with Chidera, we can do anything because it's guaranteed if we do this, we get that amount. Every single week, the same amount. Not 500 this week, 1,000 next week, 200 next week. No, the same amount every week. But people, your team, now this is, this is the biggest lesson for today, is your team. We talk about handle objections, we, hand, we talk about retention, retain, retention, retention, retention. The only way you're gonna retain your team is if they feel your passion for them. And I, I know people are jumping off and on this webinar because you know some people are not, they don't get it. Network marketing is for the one that has vision in their eyes and passion in their heart and people can feel that. That's the ones that become successful. But your heart is the most important thing right here. You got, when you make a decision, whether it's to stay, lose, win, gain, or whatever, people follow your decision and make sure that the decision you're making is for the people where they benefit more than you and you benefit as a byproduct. But everybody wants the lifestyle. I mean, really, people enroll in Trudera because they are focused on enlarging their lifestyle and future. And you should be. You should want all of this. Now, I don't know about the jet, but I'm just saying you should want to be able to go on a vacation, take a cruise, or, you know, just enjoy a week away, a month away, three months away from the day-to-day -day drudgery that kills people's dreams because it, it kills their vision because it's so challenging for most people who live in paycheck to paycheck to even see this lifestyle. They see it on TV, they hear about it, they see reality shows, but in reality, is it your reality? Can we make it there? So it's about the lifestyle. Sell the lifestyle to people. But when you sell the lifestyle to people, make sure you let them know that it's a partnership to help them get there, okay? And always let people know that we need their help. We need their help. You need their help to get there. We need their help to get Tradera to the next level. We need their help. Will you join our team? We need you. We talked to a gentleman yesterday in Uganda, and he was so excited. He said, wow, I could be one of the leaders here. And we said, yes, we need you over there. We want to hit every country, every family, every household. We can't do it without you. I don't know your family and friends but I want to help them. So we need you to help us to get to there. That's how you get people to be a part of what you do. We need you. Everybody wants to be needed. Everybody wants to help in some kind of way. These are trigger words that help people get involved. And then just say, will you help us? That's your closing sentence. Will you help us? Will you help us get this company in the, for, in the top list of companies for a home-based business? Will you help us? We need you, but make sure that you definitely tap into the product that we have, the academy. That's your security. That's your security. And then when you do, uh, share your personal story. Now, Megan has put out there to go to uh, Duchess of Duke, you know, over the next 30, 60, 90 days, give it everything you got. Take an hour or two a day to learn the trading so that way we're not dependent on other people and people can start depending on us. Learn it. Spend, like I said, an hour or so a day. And I'm just going through these because this is just a recap. The whole focus today is really getting everybody regroup, renew, re-energize, pull out your goals, pull out your vision, get excited, call your team, say, hey, you know, let's start new again today. You can start new every month if you want to. Do you have new goals? Have you reached the ones you had before? Write them down. But let's get started calling people again. Let's blow this thing out the water over the next 90 days. Really? I mean, this is a new day. I'm excited. Every hiccup is a pickup to me, you know? I mean, let's really get excited. Handle those objections early. We talked about that. You know, I mean, <laughs> people saying I have no time, no money, as a pyramid can't sell. Guess what? I'll get back to you. 
That's how we got to handle them now. But we got to neutralize and say, look, this is a great opportunity. I know you don't have any time. Good. We don't want people that are sitting around watching TV all day. We want people that are busy because, wow, that you're around a lot of people. We need people that are around people, busy people around people. And we can show you, if you could just put in an hour or two a week, you, you'll get to a point where you want to add more time to your time. No money, absolutely, I understand. <laughs> we all started that way somewhere in life where we ain't had a dime, okay? But let me tell you where we are now. You know that I know how you feel. I felt the same way, but let me tell you what I found out. Girl, I know how you feel. I've been there praying that a door would be open. <laughs> I felt the same way, but let me tell you what I found out. <laughs> if I just give this company a little bit of time, you know, I could put in an hour or two a day and wind up being Duke of Dungeons making $1,250 a week because my hour to a day adds up to my team's hour to a day or whatever. But either way, I put in that little bit of time. And next thing I know, I got the money that I didn't have before. And I could do some greater things. And then I could show other people that say they don't have money, how they can create the money that they want. Pyramid? Well, you know, that depends on what that is. And you just ask them what it is. What is a pyramid? They don't know. They heard it somewhere from their parents or their parents' parents or, you know, just say, you know, I don't even want to get into that because we don't deal with that um, pyramid. But I'm glad you know about that so that you know this is a company that is not a pyramid. So you don't have to worry about that. But a pyramid, no, we're not a pyramid. You can't sell, great. We're not looking for people to sell. We're looking for people to share. I mean, those are just simple, easy ways to handle um, objections. But I mean, just master your story and that'll handle all the objections. Just master your story. I know how you feel. I felt the same way, but let me tell you what I found out. And people are looking for security, okay? They're looking for, can I depend on you? They're really not looking for opportunity. They're looking for security because they need the opportunity, but they need security more that if I join you with this, you got my back. If I join you with this, you ain't gonna let me down. If I join you with this, you're not gonna leave me. Find out what's important to them and connect to them with that. I asked my team yesterday, I said, what are you doing this for? What? Let me know. See, I know what my personally sponsored people are looking for in life. Because if they get ready to quit on me, I'm like, well, I thought you wanted to um, take your kids on a vacation. Oh, I thought you wanted to get your kid through college. Why are you quitting? See, if you don't know what they're looking for, you can't uh, excite them into going after it and hanging in there. Promote Tradera, don't hype it. Let me tell you why. A lot of people are introducing new opportunities to people. Um, from last week, two weeks, over the last two weeks, I've heard of a lot of people introducing my team to new things, but they're doing it through hype. You know, and then when I, when they came and approached me with it, I asked them some questions. And it was all hype. They hadn't even did their own research. So they're going to drag a whole bunch of people with them and they hadn't even looked at the thing in thoroughly themselves. See, that's why you don't jump on board with every, like my mother used to say, Tom, Dick, and Harry, because you don't even know if Tom, Dick, and Harry did their research. They might have joined on hype. You don't even know. They could, somebody could have promised them the world and said, well, come with me. But do you get that same promise? So I don't want you to do that to somebody here. Know your opportunity. Know Tradera. Know what, they, what we have to offer. Know how we're, we're a family, a strong family. We're not going anywhere. We're connected with, through each other and with each other. And, you know, if you come on board, we're going to take care of you. But don't hype them saying, oh, you're going to make $100,000 this month, and then it don't happen. Make sure that you are speaking from your hearts, from your heart of hearts, that you know that what you're saying is a fact. And be sin sincere. Because we can get wealthy, but if we hype them up and don't tell them it's going to take work, man, we got through some glitches and, you know, you're coming in at the right time, but we got through everything that we needed to get through because, you know, with a new company, everything they go through, they're going to go through something. And we went through it. Are we finished going through? Probably not. If it was that easy, everybody would be over here. But people don't want to do work. And if they don't do work, they won't succeed. People want something where somebody said, well, it'll happen for you. They'll put people in your business for you. 
but it's all about leadership. Now is the time, if you're not a leader in Chidera, now is the time for to go for it, because we're looking for leaders. Leaders are cultivated through desire and learning and hanging with the right people, staying focused on what you did when you came in here and keep it going. They don't follow companies, they follow you. So make sure you're that leader, leader that you are for your team. And one thing they look for in the beginning is, are you gonna leave me? They don't even follow compensation plans. They follow you. Because see, once you make, like I told people on my team, once you make a, a check with a comma in it, you will always be able to do that. It's just like people that have broken world records. Michael Jordan, the best basketball player in the world, Hey, he's had some people reach his goal, reach the level he's reached. Once somebody breaks that barrier, it opens the door for other people to excel higher than what they did. So people are looking at you. And, and when, when you hang around people that are leaders and you, you'll learn from them, but you know, you're in a, a new era. We got technology where the leaders like me, we didn't have everything that's access to you. So you could be a better leader. You can even create even better leaders than you. But people follow leaders. Be a good leader. Be a person of strength. And your strength is, I'm committed. That's your strength. And don't micromanage, just partner. Because the, your goal is to create as many people in a leadership position as possible. But I've partnered with John Maxwell and he's the, about, about the best top leadership trainer in the world. And one thing they've always told us that the secret to success is leadership. People who lead, speak, teach, train, coach, people gravitate to you. But I want you to remind, I wanna remind you and give you a perfect reason for us to look at this. This is the wealth gap. Where are you on this chart? And where do you want to be? We got to lessen the gap. I don't care if you're black, white, Hispanic, whatever. We have to close the gap for all involved. We have to close the gap and work together. But if this is not acceptable to me, and I've been looking at this chart, and this is the, the latest version, and I've been watching it, and some of us have not budged an inch. And that's because we don't hang in there with each other. We don't work with each other. We don't share vision together. Don't chase dollars. Once you have a good opportunity, master that. And the only reason that you should quit anything is if the people that created the opportunity quits on you. If they don't quit on you, you hang in there because you have an opportunity that we didn't have to pay for. We don't have to pay for anything. We don't have to worry about if the system works. We don't have that pressure. All we have to do is take what they give us, be blessed with it, appreciate it, and make it work for us as a team, as a group, as a family, as a community, whatever you want to call it. It's up to us. Change the gap. Let's lessen that gap and become equal. And I showed this chart a long time ago, and, and I, I made this up, and you know, I wanted to show people, you know, really focus on your team. Have a system so you're making sure everybody is reaching the goals they want. Help them get their three. And then have them duplicate it and help them get their three. They should be working on their three. And this is the last slide because I want you to know where we came from and where we're going. Some people got into there before me. They were at this peak right here where nobody had heard anything. And some of you have seen this, but you need to keep this embedded in your mind. Because if we got here and we're going up here, this was challenges, this was challenges, this was glitches, this was breach, this was all that stuff. But we got past it. It happens. It's supposed to happen. Now, a lot of people don't realize it was supposed to happen. When we're going up into momentum with a whole new mindset, a whole new uh, ambition, a whole new excitement, and um, go for it. Go for the ride, because this is where your wealth and your life changes. So, Megan, I just wanted to keep it short today. Um, let me get back to you here, darling. I just wanted to keep it short today and just try to get everybody pumped up again. We need that every once in a while to call rejuvenation.
So um, just going to bring you back to close it out for the day. All right. All right. Thank you. That was um, that was amazing. You always do an amazing job, and you know we don't even we don't even talk about the connection, but it always seems to just work out at the last minute. I was clicking because I was adding this slide, and you know it always seems to kind of just coincide together. So I want to say I appreciate you. I'm excited. Um, I know I just talked to the owners, um, so I'm going to get some information from them. But with everything going on. It, you guys do have to understand it's not a lot that they can come out and say when there's more things that you guys don't know behind the scenes. So we want to make sure that our owners are able to do what they need to do. But one thing I want you want you to know is, you know, I'm always going to, in my own way, let you guys know what's happening. So it is in our best interest to listen to our heart. <laughs> It's in our best interest to um, water the grass that you're standing on, okay? Because um, earlier, you guys probably didn't know that some leaders had left the company uh, a little while ago. And then guess what? You know, within a month or two, they had to come back. So it's just very important to really listen to our leadership. We have some great leaders. So tomorrow, I'm going to be bringing the leadership um, of Tradera out front because there's a lot of leaders on other teams as well. And Linda, you do a phenomenal job. Uh, and so I thank you so much. I do want you guys to understand that our focus is, uh, it's a 250 focus. It's not a legend focus. It's a, how do I get 250 people into my organization and um, trust and believe that you can do it because we're gonna do exactly what we all did in the very beginning. You have to believe that you can do it. We are gonna break a lot of dukes and duchesses. And like Linda said, when you're getting a $1,250 check every week, it does some things for you, okay? It, it it's changes and that rank is not as challenging to hit as you guys think. I'm not that fantastic if I can do it in four days you guys can do it, okay? It's just that I'm, I'm not gonna tell you what I did anymore. I'm just going to show you. And those of you guys who wanna do it with me, again, get yourself some throat coat, lemon, lime, sea moss if you need it for your throat. You need to get what honey, get whatever it is that you need because um, I'm starting over as if I don't have a person in my business. Okay, so I'm starting over. Uh, it is, it's a, it's like heaven week. <laughs> you know, you have hell week uh, and it's just like challenging, but it's, it's for a great cause. So I actually have a lot of fun doing it. So I'm ready to go. 250 people get to Duke or Duchess. We start on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, pre-launch. Next week, official launch. Every hour, almost on the hour, we're rocking and rolling. And um, we're going to build this thing uh, to the next level. So thank you guys so much for listening in. Uh, do get on the call. I am going to do a call today. I know it's my day off, but I'm coming out of retirement <laughs> for today. I'm going to do a call at 2 o'clock and 9 o'clock. Um, business as usual until I get some other leaders on the schedule. Uh, also, there's a 7 o'clock call with Bob Morant's team. Uh, the Ohio team is Tradera to the to the to the legends table. So I got some really great committed leaders. Um, so I'll make sure I have all that information out for you guys as well. So thank you. Peace and blessings. Lace up your tennis shoes. Get a little bit of rest because Friday it's on and popping, right? $5,000 a month bound. If you're already at 5,000 a month, get all your people to 5,000 a month. It'll take you right to the legends table. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you at the Legends table. Thanks, Megan. You're welcome. Thank you. Dr. PK, is your hand up? Hey, Dr. PK. I don't know if her. Hey, Megan. Yes, uh, today is Wednesday, and it's time for us to talk to our seniors. We need some wisdom over here rattling and praying. I need all the seniors on the senior preneurs. Uh, today is Wednesday, isn't it? 
Yes, it is. So five o'clock, okay. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I need to. We need to. Duke and I need to talk to the seniors. It's time for us to do a, do do our relaunch as well. Okay. Okay. Awesome. I will definitely be on that call. Thank you. We need you there. All right. At five o'clock, and it'll be in the Telegram. Uh, the senior panel yeah. call. Getting back to business. Yeah, got to go back. Go back to work, Megan. All right. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Get into the telegram, ladies and gents.